Now, they came up with the name Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark because they thought it would be for one night only. Let's roll on 40 years. OMD is about to release a 14th studio album and head back on tour. We've got Andy and Paul with us. Did you just say you've still got that? Who said that? I've still got that sweater. That was the one I wore in the Maid of Orleans um, video and on top of the pops there, yes. He keeps just... everything. You go into his attic and there's just boxes of all <laughs> So you don't all. still oh, yeah. wear it? <laughs> No, no, but I have I have managed to keep that one, yeah. But that was in a that was in a live performance, wasn't it? Was it was it a yeah, top I, of the pops type? Um thing? it was top of the pops. I mean I, I think it might have been live to air but not live. Yeah, recording. and you had the you had the knitwear on and you had a jacket on. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that must, that's, have been boiling. must have been boiling. Yeah. I was skinny and young, so I never felt <laughs> you I, could you know, handle I, I was always cold <laughs> in those days, yeah. <laughs> How are you guys doing? We're doing well, we're yeah. We're great, yeah, yeah, thank you yeah, very much we're, for having we're... us back again. We've been busy, for, been very busy, got a new album out, so we're running around like and crazy the new, boys. And the new album's a mixture, isn't it, of new stuff? Well, it's all new stuff, but, but you know, we kind of... Uh, we, we never throw away a good idea. <laughs> and so it, the, the album started in lockdown, actually, because there's nothing else to do. And so we were kind of going through our archives of previous ideas that were good but never finished, you know. I've heard but, a few, few people recounting the sort of archive uh, creative... Uh, sorry, the, the, the lockdown creative mm -hmm. process. Presumably you're in separate locations well, and we were, just, are yeah. you chucking ideas? Paul and... fortunately managed to get locked down in the south of France. It's yeah, a hard it was, it was some, really it? tough. <laughs> OK. Uh, so the problem we had was the geographical distance, so we, we had to use all... Mod cons to just send things up and down the internet. So Did we... mod cons. Yeah, yeah all this. Well, it's an old phrase about modernity, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you, internet. you were living at home with your mum, weren't you? Uh, I used to be once upon a time, but no, not anymore. Oh, I've no. read that wrong then, because I just um... thought I read that that you were living at home and it was like you were going back to your room. And oh just... no, no. I, what I, I, I made the analogy that it was like being oh, a teenager okay, again, fine. and my mum was watching the only TV in the house. She was watching like Starsky and Hutch, and I went. Well, I'm not watching this. I'm going to my, my room and I'm going to do a painting or write a song. That was like lockdown. There was nothing else to do. You didn't watch Starsky and Hutch? I, if I could avoid it, I avoided it. Really? I do apologise, yes, it wasn't, yeah, I wasn't my thing. Either. Really? Yeah. Neither of you watched Starsky and Hutch? You're was just it too good? busy. I missed it. It was great. <laughs> used to <laughs> love it personally, but that's just me. Uh, take us back in time. So, way, way back when you are, what, you're 15 years old and you're 16, mm -hmm. or so, uh, yes. and. You didn't have any instruments, is that right? And they... No, we were a synthesizer band without a synthesizer. For <laughs> a difficult for... trick to pull <laughs> off. Yeah, we just, we, we just had. Um, my hobby was electronics, and so before we could afford a synthesizer, I used to build these machines from. I used to go around to my auntie's house and pull the radios out of the cupboards, and then repurpose the parts for them and make make noise machines, yeah. as I call them. You'd be quite a useful person to have around you in would. the You would, you'd be really honest. useful here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, the reason why we started doing music together was that Symbiota, I had the records, Paul made himself a stereo from scratch, so I went yeah. to his house to listen to it, so that's how we started out. But, yeah, the f first time we actually got real keyboards with notes on, the first thing we did was write our song Electricity, which, uh, yeah. yeah, 15 and 16. I was 15 and 16, we wrote our first... Well, that's cool. there's, there's still a very. I've listened to the new album, and there's a very similar feel to it. To, to it's definitely OMD, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and I know you're going to be touring soon, which is a whole change in itself after mm -hmm. the last yeah. few years. Your audience, the they want the old stuff as well as the music. Yeah, I mean we're, we're not stupid enough to just go on stage and just play all our latest. Because you, I suppose you can feel quite protective or kind of precious about the new stuff because you've put so yeah, much. Yeah, but we're also into precious it. about our hits, yeah. you know, because there there are there are children who have been very very good to us. Yeah. And we um, have a, we have we have a nice dilemma. We have at least eighteen hits we have to cram into a live set, otherwise somebody will complain we didn't play their favourite. <laughs> So there'll be yeah, four or five of the new ones and all the hits. And presumably when you play live now, you get lots of people coming to see you, but there was a time when it wasn't... I mean, obviously, when you first started, you would look out, presumably not many people... Well, our first gig was at Eric's. Uh, like, we just had our 45th anniversary on the 12th, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, our first and, gig. Uh, where congratulations. There was, there was, the only people who were there were basically the other bands who started in Eric's, which was scary, people like... Frank Where's Eric's? Liverpool, Liverpool Club, across the road from the cavern. OK. So there, there was... Echo and the Bunny Men, Teardrop Explosives, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Flock of Seagulls, all of Which our is generation. amazing. That's yeah, a that was, great was, It was they our cavern. Eric's Club time. was our cavern. So that was scary 45 years ago. But uh, little did we expect that we would still be doing this because that's why we had such a stupid name. We were just going to do one gig. It was a dare before we went to uni. So it's a 45-year um, accident, this whole band, really. Well, after 45 <laughs> years, you're producing stuff like this.
See, that's yeah. that's where that's where we needed you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Pregnant pause. Yeah. <laughs> no, by, by, by all those crazy things we write lyrics about, you know, it's, uh, the, I, I, I don't know, I, I, I think the, um, it, the, the nice thing is we're still able to do things like this, and we, but we've got a younger audience have come to us as well now, as well as the, the older audience that we've carried with us. But, uh, I'm always intrigued when people, uh, bands find out they're big in a place. Mm -hmm. where, where was the one that was mm -hmm. most surprising that you reached? Um, the right? Philippines. The Philippines, yeah, we, we were massive in the Philippines. Big in the Philippines. And, and, and we'd never been there before. And so. in fact, Mexico, we, we found out we were big in Mexico because we never released any records. Prop there wasn't any proper record companies in Mexico for a long, long time, particularly in our 80s period. So when we first did a show in Mexico, it was in 2000 and something, yeah. wasn't it? We, we played a festival and uh, we, we played a song called Secret, and there was like 40,000 people there all singing their song, looking at each other, yeah. going, ah, I've... So you're still, I didn't, you're still able to be surprised after oh, all these that's years. that's good, yeah. that's good. You're going to be busy. You're performing with Jules Holland on the 4th of November. You've got a European yeah. tour starting in January. January. Good luck with that. UK and in March. UK in March, and your new album, OMD's new album, Bauhaus Staircase, is out tomorrow. We'll see if we can get you to plug some stuff in for yeah, us. Yeah, we need you. <laughs> we we need, definitely need your technical expertise. <laughs> you got a soldier now.